hosting this event and also the sponsors. Uh, as a race car driver, you always thank your sponsors. It's great to be here. As it should be, this election is going to be about the economy. Vermonters can expect and deserve a renewed focus on making Vermont affordable, growing the economy, as well as keeping and creating jobs. This is something I've been talking about for the last five years and the reason I'm running for governor. I've been a small business owner almost all my life. I was 18 years old when I started a lawn mowing business and a boat rental business on Lake Elmore. I also owned a motorcycle shop in Morrisville. And for the last 30 years, I've owned a construction company. I'm probably the only candidate who can drive an 18-wheeler, has a commercial driver's license, and has literally been in the trenches for almost my whole adult life. And here's what I've learned over those years. Listening and learning is the key to good leadership. And that's been my experience on my Vermont Everyday Jobs Tour, where I've worked a day in the shoes of others in about 35 jobs, including teaching second grade in Colchester, baking in Bennington, and working in the emergency room in Middlebury. In my travels, I talk with working Vermonters every single day. And this is what I hear loud and clear. They realize we have many challenges, as do they. But they expect us to work together in order to improve our economy, make our state more affordable, without sacrificing the values which are so important to each and every one of us. I believe in order to do this, we have to get back to the fundamentals, the nuts and bolts. First, we have to focus on containing costs. Everything from taxes to fees and utility bills must be considered. Next. We must provide a stable and predictable regulatory and political environment. We all want stability, individually and in business. That security is necessary for progress. For instance, while the single peer conversation had to happen, it went on far too long. Just like the debate on the cloud tax, the tech industry begged the legislature not to do it, but they did it anyway. And now we have the prospect of a carbon tax, which is just another way to burden, already burdensome, on working families. On the other hand, as a state, we've enjoyed incredible benefits by listening to the captive insurance industry and renewable energy employers. Imagine if we treated every employer this way. As a small business owner, I realize the importance of investing in people. That means prioritizing pro-growth areas like job training, higher education, and tech ed. We need a better understanding of the demographic problem here in the state to find meaningful ways to encourage growth in our 25 to 45 age group. For example, we can help by streamlining the process for building housing which is affordable for young professionals and working families. Those who want to stay in Vermont or come to Vermont to start their career or have a family must be able to find an affordable apartment or find a home in their price range. They also expect us to continue to build and improve our telecommunication and traditional infrastructure. We must prove we are open for business and open to working families by understanding their needs and creating an environment that is helpful to them. If we're clear about our goals and what we want to achieve, I envision Vermont as the best state in the nation to start and run a small business and raise a family. That will be my goal as governor. I made it a practice in both my political and personal life to treat others the way I expect to be treated, with respect and civility. This is another area where Vermont's leadership can benefit our country. And that's what I'd like to end on, the importance of leadership. I believe we have a deficit of faith and trust in our government and our leaders, both here and nationally. I think it's incumbent upon us to act appropriately in our own backyards and inspire others to do the same. It's about instilling faith and trust. When you get right down to it, our ability in Vermont to make an even more inviting place for small businesses, our ability to grow the economy, make our state more affordable, give our kids the best education possible, all these things are tied to one common element, leadership. It's going to take strong, courageous leadership, the ability to listen, to build consensus, to set priorities, and to manage projects in order to make progress in Vermont. 
yes, there could be some very difficult decisions regardless of who was elected. It is essential that we always tell the truth. Don't overpromise and follow through because it's really about actions, not words. I really believe in the long run with the proper leadership and team chemistry, the opportunities are limitless. I hope you give me the opportunity to serve you as a Rock Governor. I will not let you down.